Univant Rapid Ridge Hip. Univant Rapid Ridge Hip is a simple and quick to install system providing a secure, weather tight and mortar free universal solution for the mechanical fixing of ridge or hip tiles. The pack contains sufficient components to fix 22 ridge or hip tiles. Hip support trays and crow clips are available separately. Install underlay and batten the roof with ends of tiling battens supported on the hip rafter. At the hip build up either 38 by 25 mm or 50 by 25 mm tiling battens to a height so that the hip support tray, if used, just rests on the hip batten and slates and tiles either side of the hip. If the hip tray is not used then the hip batten must allow for 15 mm penetration of the wood screws into the hip batten. Nail the built up tiling battens together using galvanised steel batten nails. Secure the built up tiling battens to the hip by wrapping the batten straps tightly around the battens and fix using the 30 by 2.65 mm stainless steel annular ring shank nails. Ensure nails pinch the batten strap tightly against the hip batten at the base. Use two nails on each rafter either side of the hip. Repeat for each rafter intersection. Lay and mechanically fix the slates and tiles as per Redland's fixing recommendations. Ensure small tile cuts that cannot be mechanically fixed in the normal way at hips are secured using a single Redland crow clip on the cut edge of the tile. Ensure that the slates and tiles are dry and free from dust and any other surface contamination. Lay the rollable membrane centrally along the hip batten and secure with a staple or felt nail. Remove the protective backing from the butyl edge sealing strip and dress the crimped edges of the rollable membrane neatly down onto the surface or slates either side of the hip to produce a continuous surface contact. Where the hip intersects with the ridge ensure the rollable membrane on the ridge overlaps the rollable membrane on the hip by a minimum of 50 millimeters. A hip support tray can be used to support the hip tiles keeping them straight and level when screw fixing to the hip. Cut the hip tray to suit at eaves. Where more than one tray is required overlap by 20 millimeters. Where two hips meet at the ridge, mitre the hip trays together. Secure to the hip batten with clout nails at its centre point. The end of the hip is finished using a purpose designed block end hip tile. The block end hip tile is finished flush with the eaves and course of slates or tiles and secured with an additional wood screw and washer at the tail of the block end hip tile. Assemble the clamping plates, wood screw and flexi seal together. Depending on the profile, the flexi seal may need to be trimmed down to suit some hip tiles. Place a flexi seal assembly between each pair of adjacent hip tiles. Ensure that the hip tiles are butted up tight to the seal with the clamping plate on top of the hip tiles. The hip tiles should line up with the centre line of the hip batten. Screw the fixing screw into the centre of the hip batten until the washer will not turn between the fingers. Continue along the hip ensuring the hip tiles and flexi seal assemblies are butted together tightly and screwed to hip batten. No individual hip tile should be less than 300mm long. For more information and detailed fixing instructions please visit the Redland website at www.redland.co.uk